petition to limit short term rentals on the Isle of Palms is gaining signatures. A grassroots community group is working to learn how many residents support a limit after council voted in a close split against a pause or regulation on licenses within the past year. Melissa Rademacher talked to some people living there, council members and the mayor about the topic. People who are a part of this are full time and part time residents, former council members like Brian, there's some others, uh, former planning commission members, committee members, and we are dedicated to preserving the residential quality of the island. Catherine and Brian have lived on the island for nearly 30 years, but they worry about losing the community to too many short term rentals. Isle of Palms is the only South Carolina barrier island without a rental ordinance limit. And that's the beauty of the democratic process, quite honestly. You know, council voted one way. If there's enough citizens that want to put a petition together and bring it back to council, we'll, uh, we're obligated, obviously, to take a look at that. The citizen petition would limit investment short-term rentals to 1,600 across the island. It would not make any changes or limits to owner-occupied short-term rentals. The petition would need 33% of the island population to sign it for it to formally go before council as an item. And so we just don't see it as as something that we need to take action today. We would rather just wait uh, and monitor the situation. And if we have to take action at some time in the future, we'll certainly take that up with council. The city is working to hire a short term rental coordinator and two additional enforcement officers, making a total of three by this June. Right now, there are 1,777 short term rental licenses, but less than 1,600 of them are the investment properties that the petition targets. I, I would vote in favor of that uh, limitation. Um, it, it is again, it's it's not taking anything away from anybody. It's higher than the one third, one third, one third for the rental community. So I look at it as a, uh, a very um, balanced approach. Advocates for the limit emphasize that they welcome renters and rentals as an essential part of the island's makeup, but want to preserve a balance with their neighborhoods and look forward to some of your neighbors knocking on the door to see if you are interested in signing the petition because this is what gives every resident a voice in their government. On Isle of Palms, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.